Hi there, my name is Steve Schwartz and I'm the founder of the LSAT blog. I've been coaching the LSAT for over 10 years now, and today I wanted to share with you a strategy for LSAT reading comprehension. A lot of times I hear people recommending to read The Economist or Scientific American, and that's great. But if you're taking the LSAT less than, let's say, six months from now, it's probably not worth going to outside material when there are hundreds and hundreds of actual LSAT reading comprehension passages. And you might want to improve your familiarity with a particular topic, but that doesn't mean you necessarily need to go to outside information. There are plenty of passages on the LSAT of any topic that might give you trouble. I'm imagining for a lot of pre-law students who majored in the humanities that the sciences or philosophy might be a little bit trickier sometimes. So what I've done is I've categorized the vast majority of LSAT reading comprehension passages by their topic, but not loosely like science or humanities. I went into even more depth, and so I want to show you what I did. I published an article on my site where I go into a wide variety of different topics. You see that it's not just science, it's, for example, animals and bacteria. Or it's not just technology, it's computers, internet, and copyright law specifically. Or it's not just law, but it's Thurgood Marshall specifically. Believe it or not, there have actually been multiple passages on Thurgood Marshall. There have been two passages at least on Bruno Bettelheim. And I don't know why, but LSAC writers like those people in particular. And so if you've never heard of those people before, you see it on test day. It's something you could have easily avoided, and I'm imagining you probably wouldn't encounter either of those people referenced in The Economist or Scientific American. So I went down, and for each category, I gave you several passages from real prep tests in involving those topics and those people. And you can see here, if I scroll down a bit, I've got two passages on Thurgood Marshall. I've got two on Bruno Bettelheim, as I said earlier. So these are people you want to know about. These are things you want to familiarize yourself with. And you can go for any given category that I've laid out here, several passages, even going back to prep test five or prep test number one, up to those I believe in the late 50s is where I stopped this categorization. But you'll want to save later ones for time to work anyway, possibly. So again, these are what I'd recommend doing, not outside topics, not outside publications. If you have a longer period of time to study, that's great. Then you could do The Economist or Scientific American as supplemental reading, but I wouldn't really ever consider that real LSAT studying. That's something to read maybe on your commute or in your free time. Anyway, hope you found this helpful. Please feel free to reach out if you need anything at all. Please subscribe to be notified of new videos as I release them. I will be covering reading comprehension more in the near future, so stay tuned. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.